everybody and welcome back to Movie Files. Elliot here with a brand new movie review and this time it is for Pokemon Detective Pikachu which was directed by Rob Letterman. It stars Ryan Reynolds, Justice Smith, and Caitlin Newton. Now I was supposed to see this film earlier in the week but I missed out on my early screening and I was going to see it on Friday then I got a little bit under the weather. I'm now I'm feeling a little bit better and today's Sunday so happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there including mine. Uh, but Morgan and I went to go see it today and I'm here to share with you all my non-spoiler review of the film. But before I get into the pros and cons, give you my score of the film uh, at the end of this video. I want you guys to do me a couple favors. Number one, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you hit that notification bell to stay updated with our movie reviews, TV reviews, trailer reactions, unboxing videos, and giveaways. So definitely subscribe to our channel. And also, Start your comedy below now. Let me know if you guys thought this film was good, if you enjoyed it. If you're a big fan of Pokemon, did you do Do you think this film was uh, was done right? Do you think it did justice to the 20 plus years of this uh, franchise that we've gotten since 97, I believe? So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of this movie. And with that, let's jump into this review. Let's jump into the positives about this movie. First and foremost, the first half an hour, I was super engaged because they did a really good job of world building. Me personally, I actually was, what, seven or six when Pokemon first began. I used to watch the anime show. I was more of a Digimon fan, but, you know, you don't have to, we don't have to uh, jump to that conversation. But I did know the lore of Pokemon to an extent. I collected some of the cards. I seen some of, like, the, the TV specials or movie specials. And I remember some of the characters like Ash and, and Pikachu and some of the other characters. Uh, but I wasn't a super sweaty or super deep into the lore and then even when the Game Boy games were out. I had a couple of them, and I even think about what was 2016 when the Pokemon Go came back up. So I really, I, I've been, I, I'm aware of Pokemon, but I'm not like super involved or super deep into the lore. And I thought that this film did a really good job, at least for someone from the outside looking in, of doing a good job of explaining the world. You know, they didn't really have to, you know, spend 20 minutes on explaining what Pokemon were, what every single skill set they had. But I thought that the film and the director and the writers did a really good job of just kind of embracing. The idea of, yes, we know that people are going to be very familiar with these characters, and we're going to, obviously, I think that they did a good job of uh, appeasing those fans, but then for someone like me that really doesn't know much of Detective Pikachu, for example, I really didn't know that that was like its own entity outside of Pokemon, but I thought that they did a good job of uh, implementing that storyline, and also Rhyme City, which you see in the trailer, so I'm not giving away any spoilers there, but just the whole idea of Pokemon and human kind of you know, uh, uh, coexisting with one another. And I, and I won't get into all the storylines and the threads and all that, because again, I know Pokemon is known, for, at least from my end, it's like the battle stuff, but I really like that they did something a little bit different. They, you know, they touched on some of those elements, but they did a really good job of building the world, explaining the world, and also introducing some really cool characters. Right, so within that same world building conversation, I thought that the actual visual effects of Rhyme City and of these Pokemon characters were really well done, to be honest with you. There are some nitpicks that I'll talk about a little bit later, but for the most part, I love the designs of the Pokemon and particularly Pikachu, I thought he was the best looking as far as visual design goes. Uh, and also, like I said, within Rhyme City, being able to have uh, this, you know, this city or what have you and seeing the Pokemon in the background, I thought that the visuals for the mo most part was really well done. Now, minus one or two characters that I'll talk about a little bit later, I really enjoyed the cast, you know, with Justin Smith and uh, Caitlin Newton uh, and, and, and their relationship amongst each other, but also the relationship with the Pokemon and, and most of the human characters in this film, I thought did a really good job. And that was probably one of my things, uh, one of my nervous things going into this film was, okay, we, we know that they're going to probably, you know, use the Pokemon and show some really cool VFX and have some really cool set pieces, but are the humans going to be likable? Are we going to enjoy them? And for the most part, for me, I really enjoyed uh, the cast. Like I said, Justice Smith and, and Ryan Reynolds' chemistry was great. Again, uh, Caitlin Newton, her uh, Pokemon was great. And then again, amongst the other human cast members, I thought they were good. But I can't leave this review off as far as positives without talking about my main man, Ryan Reynolds, as Pikachu, perfect casting. I thought that Ryan Reynolds did a great job of balancing two things. Number one, it's a kid-friendly movie. It's a PG film, and I thought that his uh, his uh, approach to the comedy lended itself to the younger audience, but at times, too, there were some adult jokes that were kind of thrown in there that were kind of quick things that you kind of catch in, and it really put a smile on my face. So I definitely have to say, you know, Pikachu and Ryan Reynolds are perfect match, just like Ryan Reynolds and Deadpool. I loved him, uh, his voice uh, uh, acting, and just, just the way he says certain things is just really great. But again, the cast was solid, uh, but the MVP of this film was without a doubt Pikachu played by Ryan Reynolds.
All right, so this film does have some negatives. There's some things on my list here that are a little bit of nitpicking things for me, but as far as the biggest things, you know, there were um, the, a certain element of the story. It is a Detective Pikachu uh, movie, so there is some detective things going on, some mystery elements that really didn't work out for me personally. There were, obviously, again, this is a kid-friendly film, so I, I give it I, I give it a little, a little less flack because I know that they don't want to go over kids' heads as far as diving deep into the mystery, but I thought there were some, some script elements and some some bad storytelling parts that just kind of made the mystery element a little bit lackluster even though that was supposed to be one of the main elements of the movie that it just really didn't work for me all in all and I think that plays into a couple things one the actual characters that were more involved with the mystery aspect I just didn't buy it with there's I won't say their names or who they're played by but there's a uh, a, a villain in this film and when they introduced this, this particular villain and, and, and kind of what they were behind and what they were trying to do, it just didn't really sit well with me. And also, they, they're they they're telling the story of two kind of parallel stories without giving too much of the, the plot away. But, you know, uh, Tim's character has some, some dad issues and then we get these villains that are also have some father and son type of chemistry and there, and there are two parallel stories that I thought just didn't work that well for me personally. Uh, and then as far as jumping to some of my nitpicking things, and I had mentioned earlier that for the most part the visuals were great but there were some Pokemon that didn't look as as fleshed out or as as clean as the Pikachu character and some of the other characters that we saw uh, there were some big action set pieces that didn't look as clean as some of the other ones and again those are just minor things but also I thought you know wrapping up the negative parts that the middle portion again which is more the mystery aspect slow down the momentum from the first half of the film, which I thought was really great. Again, that was when the world building was happening. I thought the comedy really worked. And then when we get to, this, to that second half, it, it felt a little slowed down and the, and the script wasn't as tight as the first. And then also, this film does, for me, suffer a little bit of that third act, big action set piece fatigue, uh, as well as I thought that it was a little bit long in the tooth for a kid's film. It was about an hour and 44 minutes, but I thought they could have slimmed down about 10 to 15 minutes off this film, and that could have been taken away for some of the lackluster mystery elements of the film. But, uh, all in all, kind of finishing up this review here, guys. Even with those negatives I just mentioned, uh, I still enjoyed this film. I've given it a 3.4 out of 5. I actually think I'm going to probably pick this up when it comes out on Blu-ray. Uh, today's Sunday. I think the film made over $58 million, which is great, and I believe this is going to be a hit uh, worldwide, and we're going to probably see some more of these Pokemon movies and some spinoffs, which I'm perfectly fine with because I really enjoyed myself. I was very pleasantly surprised about how I was able to just be involved in this world and how they built the world. Again, Ryan Reynolds was great. Uh, I would love to see what, what they do with Pikachu and, and the rest of this franchise or if they spin off with some other things but I was again very pleasantly surprised about the world building and again even if Ryan Reynolds isn't in the film I think that he should advertise every movie because he's such a great hype man for his film so all in all 3.4 out of 5 definitely recommend you guys checking out if you're A a fan of the Pokemon franchise or B just interested in seeing a really cool family fun film this is a good film to check out let me know in the comments what you guys saw this review and also what you thought of the film. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Make sure you hit that notification bell to stay up to date with our videos. We will be back later tonight or maybe be dropping this video uh, Monday with this review as well as Game of Thrones Episode 5. So keep an eye out for that, guys. Thank you for watching this review and we'll see you on the next video.